Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I would love it if you could subscribe. And if you're already an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my first video showing you my makeup collection. I was going to do this in two parts, but I just have so much in my collection that I think if I tried to do it in two parts, the videos are just going to be so long. So I am going to split them out into the different categories. So these videos may be going on until the end of March, <laughs> just because of my schedule and all my other projects as well, which I hope you don't mind. Today's video, I'm going to be doing my base products. Then the next video, which I think is going up next week, will be my bronzers, blushes and highlights. So without further ado, let's get into it because we do have quite a few things to go through in this video. So I'm gonna start with the way that I apply these products. So I'm gonna start with primers, then foundations, then concealers, and then I have mascaras, setting sprays, and brows and eyeliner in this drawer. So I'm counting this as my base drawer. So like I said, let's get started with primers. And what I will do at the end of each section is if I've got any of these products in projects, I'll talk about them then. So this is where my primers go. So I'm gonna start with the primers I haven't tried yet because I don't really have any views or opinions on them. Um, so the first one is this one from Kiko. This is the Charming Escape Watery Blurry Primer. I got this last year when I went to the Kiko store in Covent Garden, um, but I still haven't used that one yet. Beautiful packaging though. Another one I haven't used yet is this one from Figs and Rouge. This is the Wonder Glow Rose Glow. I have tried a primer from this brand before. I got this in a subscription box um, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, but hopefully I like this one because it's meant to be glowy. So we will see. I then have one of my favourite primers, this is from Kiko, this is the Radiant Boost Serum Face Base. I had this before and I absolutely loved it and when I went to the Kiko store in April last year I picked this up. I actually went in just to pick this up but then there was a really good deal, I think it was like buy three, get three products for free so yeah I only went in to buy this because I used it up I think in 2021 and I really missed it. So I know I like that product, I just haven't used it yet. I then have this one from Ofra. This is, it just says Prime, Primer No Butts Prime First. Um, oh, this is actually the Face Lifting Flash Primer. And then I also have this one from Stila. Oh, hopefully that's better. This is the One Step Correct Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. Again, all of them in packaging I haven't tried. And then the only other one I haven't tried yet technically isn't a primer. This is a liquid highlight, but I am gonna try and mix this in with my primer because this doesn't work for me as a highlight. I don't know whether it's gonna work for me the way that I want to use it, but I want to give it a go and see. Okay, so now let's talk about the primers I have used. So I have these two from Jekyll Black. This one is the Glow Drops and this one is the Hydrate Primer. I like both of these. I think they're both really nice. And also using them together as well. They're both lovely, so I do really enjoy these. Another one I really enjoy is this one from Primark. This is the Prep and Perfect Illuminating Primer. You most probably can't buy this anymore from Primark because they have a tendency to get rid of products really fast. Um, but yeah, this was, this is a really, really nice primer. I do enjoy it. I then also have my e.l.f. Paulus Putty Primer. I do really like this. I feel like out of all of the pore filling primers I've tried, this one is my favorite. Um, I do also have pan on this one as well. But this one's getting to be quite old in my collection, so I would like to see if I could try and get some more use on it this year. And then I have this one from Tarte, which is also another pore filling one. I don't really like this one. I find that it bunches up where I put it, like around my nose and my T-zone area. So I don't really love this one, but I do want to try it again this year, see what I think. And if I don't like it, I will just get rid of it because there is no point me keeping it if I'm not wanting to use it. I then have this one from W7 and it's called It's Glow Prime. And this is a radiant primer. This is really nice as well. Um, I do really enjoy this one. And this one's really affordable. The Primark one's affordable and this one's affordable as well. Um, and I enjoy both of these. So those are all my primers that aren't in projects at the moment. I then have two that 
Well, one of them isn't in a project, but I'm using it all of the time, and then the other one is. So the one that is in a project at the moment is this one from Touch and Soul. This is the No Problem Primer. It's a little bit of a sneak peek for my project pan because this is in there at the moment and then this one isn't in a project but I am just using it at the moment like every day it is the Revlon Rose Glow hydrating and illuminating primer I don't have much of this left I mean it's been on its side but I'm about here on it so I really don't have a lot left and I would like to get this one done because it's one of my older ones in my collection and the pipette on this has actually started to work so that's good because I usually always have problems with pipettes but yeah, so those are the two that I'm currently working on every day and that are in projects. And that is all of my primers. There is quite a lot there, I know, but I am planning on working on quite a lot of these this year, hopefully. Now let's move on to foundations. So I do have some foundations that I haven't started to use yet. So again, I'll go through those first because I don't really know what I think to them. The first one is also from Kiko. This is the Charm and Escape Hydrating Serum Foundation really beautiful packaging but I just haven't used that one yet. I got that the same time as I got the primer. I also have this one from number seven. Hopefully you can see these. My ring light is really bright, I'm sorry. This is the Hydra Luminous Moisturising Foundation. Back when I was at uni I had a foundation from number seven that I absolutely loved. It was so beautiful. I don't think they sell it anymore. Um, but when I saw that this range came out I was really excited to try it because I did really enjoy that one I had previously. And then I think the only other one I have, oh no, I've got an another one here. Um, so the next one I haven't tried is this one. This one's the L'Oreal Infallible um, Fresh Wear. I bought this because of Marcia at Lady Marwa. Um, this is one of her favorite foundations. So I wanted to give it a go and see what I thought because this is really affordable as well. And then I have this one, which is the Arborian CC Cream. I don't quite know whether this is gonna work for me, if I'm honest. If it doesn't, I will just pass it on because it is in the shade, I think it's Claire. Yes. Um, so I don't know whether that'll work for me, but I'll try that this year and if not, I can pass it along. Then the rest of them that currently are in projects, I have tried. So the first one I have, this is my backup, but I have tried this. This is my Holy Grail foundation. Absolutely love that. That is my, like I said, my backup. So that one isn't open yet. I then have this one from Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I had this recently in my Women Who Rock and just, I used to love this foundation, but I don't know whether, maybe because I've had it a bit longer that it's just got thicker and it's just, it just doesn't look that nice on me anymore. Um, but it is one I do want to finish because I feel like I've made really good progress even just using it 20 times. So I would like to see if I could try and work this out for my collection this year or next. I then have this one from NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I bought this because of Jessica Braun because she raved about it. And this is nice as well. I just, I just I'm not obsessed with it considering it's £39. I would expect to be obsessed with this and I'm just not. I do think I want to try the sheer glow one, is it? Is that what you're like in the smaller packaging? Um, because I know like my sister's best friend mentioned that to me as well because that's her like favourite one. So yeah, I will I will use this one up. It's not awful, it's just not what I was expecting. And I think I'll try the sheer glow one next. Another one I have that's expensive that I'm just kind of like meh about is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I actually got this as a free gift when I spent so much on Charlotte Tilbury so I didn't go out and buy it because I like Charlotte Tilbury but for me, before this next foundation I'm going to show you which I absolutely love, I found that a lot of the reviews for her foundations were saying that they were more matte and that's just not my preference. I much prefer something that's a bit more glowy, but I got this for free and it's not awful. It's just, it's not my preference again. And it, again, it's 36 pound. So I would expect if I'm paying that price to absolutely love it, but I got it for free. So I can't, can't really grumble. Um, it's just not my preference. But one from Charlotte Tilbury that absolutely is my preference is this one. This is the Charlotte's Beautiful Skin. Honestly, this is beautiful. So beautiful. One of my favorite foundations in my collection at the moment. Um, it's just so natural looking, but it just leaves that beautiful 
looking glow on the skin i i love that one <laughs> so those are the ones at the moment that aren't in projects i do have quite a few at the moment in projects i'm just getting them now so the first one i have is this one from revolution pro this is the foundation drops i used to rave about these as well back in the day um, because they're so cheap and i just really liked them i don't love this as much now that i feel like i've tried more foundations but it is still a really good foundation for the price i then have my rimmel lasting radiance the one i am actually using i'm trying to finish and um, because this one is one of my older ones in my collection and i don't want it to go off because i do love it i then have the huda beauty glowish foundation i haven't tried this enough at the moment so i still don't quite know what i think to it and so i do want to try it a little bit more that one is in my that's expensive and then i have the ordinary serum foundation I haven't even started to work on this yet. I mean, I worked on it quite a lot last year and I'm about halfway, but I haven't started to use this yet because I've been trying to focus on the Revolution Pro one and the Rimmel one. So those are the foundations I have in my collection. I do have quite a few, but I'm hoping to at least have a minimum of three out this year. So that would be good if I could get three out because I didn't finish any foundations last year and I have more than enough. I've even got some I haven't used, so. I don't need to be buying any more foundation anytime soon. Okay, so now let's move on to my concealers. I feel like out of all of the categories in this drawer, I feel like concealers and setting sprays are definitely more of my manageable categories because I don't have a huge amount of them. I mean, I still have quite a few, but just compared to this, not as many. So, I think I'm only working on one concealer as well at the minute in a project. I think I've tried all of, oh no, I haven't. This is the only one I haven't tried yet. This one is from number seven. This is the Hydroluminous Dark Circle Concealer. I wanted to buy this because of the foundation, so I bought them both at the same time, but it's completely brand new. I haven't used it yet. The rest of them I have used. So I have this one from W7. This is the HD Concealer. This is okay. I mean, this is so affordable. I think this is less than five pound and you get a lot of product in this. Um, I'm not quite sure whether the, I think this must be trying to be a dupe for something, but I'm just not quite sure what it's meant to be. Um, but it, it's okay, it just won't be something I would get again. Another concealer that I wouldn't get again, but I don't even know whether I can get again, is this one from Revlon. Again, I bought this because I have the foundation and I wanted to have the concealer to match. My problem with this concealer is the shade of it. So. I don't know if you can see here, but the shade of the concealer is not the same shade as the foundation, the foundation's lighter. So yeah, I mean, it's fine because I can make it work. Sometimes I do like to have a concealer that does match me rather than brightening, but I usually prefer something that is a brightening concealer at the moment anyway, but I haven't used this a huge amount, um, but when I have tried it, I haven't been wowed by it. One that I do quite like is this one from e.l.f. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. Um, when I have tried this, which again, isn't a huge amount, there is still quite a lot of product left in this. Um, let's just do that so it looks a bit better. <laughs> when I have tried this, I have really enjoyed it. I think this is meant to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, I think the Hydrating one. But I can't say whether that is the case or not because I've not tried any of the Tarte concealers and um, but I do like that one and again that one's quite affordable and then these are the two so I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury this is technically a color corrector and um, I do did hit pan on this so I bought this again because of Jessica Braun it won't be something I would get again it does help because I do have like dark circles under my eyes but I just don't feel like I need it you know, I, I will use it because it's in my collection, but I just don't feel like I, it's a step in my routine that I want to continue on with. Um, I just, I feel like concealers cover my dark circles pretty well. One of my favorite, favorite concealers. And if you just spoke to me when I first got this, I was like, no, it really isn't my favorite concealer. I can't wait to get it finished. And I did finish one of these completely. And then when I finished it, I realized I really missed that concealer. And now I just, I just love it. And let me show you what it actually is. It's this one from NARS. This is the Soft Matte Concealer. Um, 
I do want to try and work on this this year because this is pricey for a concealer but it does take you a while to finish um but I just don't want it to go off before I've finished it and like I said I have finished one of these before I just really like it it's one of my favorites and I will continue to keep buying it and I think the only concealer I have in a project at the moment is this one this is the NYX Born to Glow um this one's all right it won't be something I would get again I did finish the foundation of this in a project few years ago I think it was either 2020 or 2021 Um, I want to say 2021 I wouldn't get this again I don't even know whether I can I don't know whether they still have this range I think they do Um, but yeah I wouldn't get that again so that is all of my concealers and um, I think out of all of the concealers I do think this one I would buy again and this one I would buy again Um, I can't say whether i'd buy the number seven one yet because i haven't tried it now i'm going to talk about mascaras because you can't see unfortunately but they do go down this side here <laughs> and i have quite a few mascaras one thing i will say though is i don't have any of these open so i can't tell you what i think to them but i can talk about the one that i do have open at the moment so the first one like these are like my backstock mascaras the first one i have is this one from revolution this is the waterproof revolution mascara i don't usually use waterproof mascara um but i got that in a mystery box i think one of my favorite mascaras from benefit this is the benefit roller lash i think i've got yep i've got another one here as well i just really really enjoy this mascara and um, like i said one of my favorites from benefit i then have this one from fenty this is the full frontal mascara i got this in a fat fit fun i know k from catch up with k mentioned that she really likes that mascara so i'm looking forward to trying it i then have this one from delilah and um, hopefully you can see these um this one is the definitive volumizing and defining mascara i then have one from ella Masque. this is the infinite mascara i think that's what it is and then the last one i have is this one from bobby brown this is a smoky eye mascara i have tried this one before and I did enjoy it, but it's just so pricey for a mascara. When I know I have ones from the high street that I like as much, that are much more affordable. And then the one I'm currently using at the moment, because I only have one open, is this one from Rare Beauty. This is the, it just says mascara. <laughs> um, this is all right, not my favorite. But it's not it's not awful i definitely think it's more of a dry formula which just isn't my preference that is my mascaras i have quite a few in back stock but i do only keep my mascaras open for three months so i will work through these pretty fast now let's move on to brows i have so many brow products and if i'm honest i only really need a brow gel that is just my preference it's just it makes my brows look more natural and also it's just a lot faster <laughs> um, but I do have these products so I will use them the first one is this one from Ofra this is the don't play brow gel so this is just a clear brow gel and um, I want to try and work on any of my clear brow gels whilst I have my brow pencils I have this brow gel from Benefit this is the gimme brow I got this in shade 3 I have tried this before um, and I also tried it shade three when i borrowed it from my sister i do think i could potentially get shade 3.5 as well um but yeah i i do enjoy that product i'm going to try and quickly go through my brow gels um i have this one from juvia's place this is a brow gel and it's just again another clear one i then have this one from delilah this is the brow shape defining brow gel i think this one this one's in sable i have used this one before and it does work okay the rest of them are pencils so i have this one from elf who sorry guys i've just knocked you a little bit <laughs> this one's from elf this is the instant lift brow pencil i tried this years ago when elf was like you know two or three pound um, and i did enjoy it it's a bit more expensive than that now but it's still not overly expensive but i haven't tried that one since i have this one from delilah this is the brow line retractable eyebrow pencil again in sable i have this one from earth this is it says universal 
One thing for me that I find with the brow gels in my collection, a lot of the time they've come from subscription boxes and they try to match everybody, but it just doesn't work half the time. I find that these brow pencils are a little bit, are just not the right shade for my eyebrows. So I have to be really, really gentle, which then means it takes me a lot longer to finish them. Um, I then have this one from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow. I prefer something with more of a teardrop shaped pencil than like a thin one so this is okay i will use it the shade works a lot better for me in that one at least i think if i did have a pencil i'd much prefer to have like one that's tear drop shaped i then have this one from w7 this is the super brows and i got this one in brown again that doesn't really work for me and also can we just talk about how annoying it is that they don't fit into that container i then have another precisely my brow pencil this one again is in shade three um, I do think, like I said, I could go to shade 3.5 and I think that would match me a lot better. Um, that one is a mini, I think the other one I have is a full size. And then I have this one which I keep in here as well. This is the Benefit Highbrow Duo Pencil in Linen Pink and Soft Gold. I just haven't used that one yet, but I will get around to using that eventually, just not at the moment. I'm using my other highlighters for that. And then I do also have this backup of the Charlotte Tilbury one that I'm currently using. And I do think I'm just gonna declutter this because I just don't like this shade on me and I'd rather declutter it to someone that might be able to get better use out of it than me. You know, I think I'm just gonna do that now. Um, I'm sure someone will be able to use it like that. <laughs> so that's one less brow pencil. I wasn't planning on doing any decluttering in these videos, but you know, if I feel like I just want to get rid of them, I will. So those are the ones that currently aren't being used or in projects. I then have a few brow pencils that I am using that are either in a project or isn't. This one isn't in a project, it was, but it isn't anymore. This is the Ico brow gel. This is one of my favorite, favorite brow gels. I think I would much prefer to just buy the mini though because I did have a full size of this and it was huge. Um, I've been working on this for months now. I do feel like it's coming to the end. Um, but I do really enjoy that one. And then I have these two. So I have the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat, which is the one I've just decluttered. Um, this shade just really doesn't work for me. It just doesn't. I tried to make it work. I don't really like emphasizing my brows and this definitely emphasizes my brows. So I want to get that one done and then I can say goodbye. And then I have this one. This is a clear brow gel from the Beauty Crop. This one is the BFF Brow Friends Forever. It's just a clear brow gel and I just use it when I use that brow pencil. And yeah, it's it's all right. So that is all of my brow products. Um, I have quite a few. Um, considering I don't really like brow pencils, I have quite a few. <laughs> but I'm hoping to be able to narrow them down so I do only have a few brow gels because that is my preference. Okay, then I have a couple of things that usually just get stored at the back over here. The first one I have is this NARS foundation pump. I bought this because I thought I would need it for that foundation because usually NARS, I know with the sheer glow one I think it is, they don't have the pump. So I bought the pump when I bought that and then this one came with a pump. So I just, I'm gonna keep this in the back for when I do buy that other foundation. And then I also have this. So my sister gave me this. This is the Quick Flick, the Perfect Wing Eyeliner Stamp. So you like stamp your, you stamp there and then you draw it on. I'm just so rubbish with eyeliner. I really, really am. So I feel like if anything's gonna work for me, it will be this, but I just, I never reach for it. Um, I feel like in, because I am going to be, just a bit of a spoiler by the way, I am going to be starting the Deck of Panning project and I feel like if I were to get the Joker, I feel like this would be the type of product I would bring in for it because I shy away from it because I get nervous <laughs> about wearing it. Now we're on to setting sprays and I really don't have that many setting sprays in my collection. These three here that are currently are in projects and then I have, I think, two that are. Um, the first one I have is this one. This is the Kat Von D Lock It makeup setting mist. I think this this is actually before it became KVD. I think this is actually Kat Von D. Um, this is all right. It's not my favorite. I much prefer something that 
is a setting mist that provides a bit of glow and that one doesn't but i will use it i then have this one from wonder beauty this is the glow getter mist i haven't tried this one yet i don't know whether this one's a setting mist it doesn't say but i haven't tried that one yet and then i have this one from xx revolution this is the glow fix brightening fixing mist i haven't tried this one yet either and then the other two i've got so i've only got five overall which i'm really pleased about and um, the one i have in projects is this one from Seattle. this is the watermelon bear setting spray i really like this one really 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 do enjoy this one it's just it is quite strong when it first sprays out and it does have a watermelon scent so if you don't like anything that's got a fragrance i wouldn't recommend this but this is just it makes my skin feel so hydrated and i feel like it works well and then another one that I really, really enjoy as well is this one. This one's from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is the setting spray that made me realize I do need a setting spray in my life. Um, and I will be buying this again, most probably in a full size, but this smaller size is perfect for travel as well. And I just, I really, really enjoy the way that this makes my skin look. So that is everything for this drawer. I do love my collection. There is just some things that I need to start working out because otherwise they're gonna go off on me. And I spent my money on these products and I don't want them to go off. Um, so this is my first draw, my first video for my collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, the next video will be my bronzers, blush and highlights. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe, if you don't already. And I'd love to know below if you've done collection videos, let me know because I can come over and watch. I have been watching everyone's back from December and I just love seeing everyone's collection. I love seeing what people have similar to me, what they have that they that I don't have that they really enjoy. But yeah, I just love watching people's collection videos and also declutter videos as well. So until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.